Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to the all new video series of C Sharp for automation testing in Execute Automation channel. And in this video, we'll be talking about an introduction to C Sharp for automation testing. Why suddenly programming language in Execute Automation? Are we shifting the direction? If not, are we going to discuss something different here? Or is this course has something special that we are going to learn which no one on the planet have ever told? Well, to answer all your question, the simple answer is no. You are going to learn C Sharp here. That's it. Which millions of people have already told. Some of the best known resources which I find very useful and helpful are LearnMissileStudio.net by Bob Tabor, which is very, very helpful. Prajeem Technologies by Kurt Venkat. This was very, very helpful. You can get a lot of free videos in YouTube as well. And you can learn about hundreds of tutorials in Udemy, Pluralsight and Lynda.com. And you can watch thousands of videos of YouTube and also learn from blogs to learn C Sharp. So what's the motivation behind this course then? Well, the motivation behind is in Exit Automation channel, we are trying to help people from different background in automation testing world, especially people from manual testings. There are hundreds of questions I get each month from people saying, why is Selenium so complex than QDP since it has C sharp? I'm new to C sharp. Is programming required for automation testing? It's for developer thing, right? I don't know programming as I am from manual testing background for X number of years. I'm from Java background, can't record and playback help so that I can skip C sharp. I want to learn C sharp to do automation dot. So these are the different kinds of questions I get each and every day from people from different backgrounds, especially their whole intention or motive is to learn C sharp or a way to learn automation testing. So now you understood why the course name is C sharp for automation testing. We are going to focus some of the key areas of C Sharp, which are much required for automation testing instead of telling complex things like threading, dynamic programming, networking, asynchronous programming, reflections, parallel programming, serializations, etc. So these are some of the most complex things that you can even take in your C Sharp complete reference book where in the first three or four chapters, you'll find something useful, but other chapters will be kind of confusing. Even the complete reference book will also sometimes shows you the Windows programming, the web service programming or database programming. Suddenly they bring in the ASP.NET, MVC, all those stuffs. And seeing that book, the manual test engineers will suddenly get into a situations or thoughts that programming is very complex. So instead of discussing about these complex stuffs, we are going to learn something like language basics, variables, objects and classes, conditional statements and loop statements, operators, arrays and collections, generics, bringing in little complexity, extension methods, and cool things which you can leverage C-sharp in automation testing world. And that's where we are going to pitch in in this course. So let's get started guys and start learning C Sharp for automation testing. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.